And for our next bout, please welcome to the blue corner, the challenger representing Team 2 Gym in Central London, Liam El Matador Portel. I found Muay Thai when I was about 21. Wasn't really sure what I wanted to do in my life. Didn't really like anything else, to be honest. Started Thai boxing in the gym. And I just stuck with it. Right now, like, Thai boxing is my focus. I've never really thought of myself as like, oh yeah, like I'm a fighter, but I like Muay Thai and the only way for me to improve my style and like, show that I'm getting better is to fight. So like the main reason why I, why I fight. Like, I wanna be, like, although it's kind of like an impossible task, I wanna be my favorite fighter to watch. Like when it's all said and done and I look back, I want to watch my fights and be like, oh, like, this guy's wicked. My next opponent is Jacob Thompson from Team Jaidi. I know he's, like, he's quite an aggressive fighter, very durable. But, like, I'm pretty sure we've both kind of known that at some point we were going to be, well, we are going to be fighting each other. I like to believe I always train hard. I don't really like to think of such thing as like a fight camp. Do what I gotta do. Some of my methods you might disagree with me. These are family ties. I recognize mine. I know that they needed me. Somatic stress, watch it manifest. Got my only fear. I ain't scared of death. Did you hear me yet? I ain't scared of death. Did you hear me yet? What you gonna do? Threaten to take my breath. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the minus 59 kilogram MTGP Intercontinental Champion, representing Team Jai D in Hartford, Jacob Baby Shark Thompson! I always love fighting, every, every aspect of it. Uh, my next opponent is Liam Patel, UK number two. He's very, very good technically, you know, he's good at scoring. He uses his range very well, however, I'm used to being a smaller fighter. I'm, I'm used to having to get past the range. I almost prefer being a smaller fighter. It makes it, the matchup a lot more interesting. If I thought it was an easy fight, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want the fight. That's what I thrive off, it motivates me, it fuels me. It keeps my love for the sport. I'm very confident. I respect Liam as an opponent, but I'm very confident in my own abilities. For well, wherever the fight goes, I'll beat him. So that's, that's all I can say. I'll make it an exciting fight. Listen, best of luck to you. I hope you're training hard, and I hope you're confident, because I'm also definitely confident, and I look forward to it. This fight between two of the UK's, uh, they're more than prospects, aren't they? They're, uh, they're above that level, but two of the brightest young fighters in the country, Liam Patel and Jacob Thompson. We expect both of these men to be around for a long time. Jacob Thompson, the champion, representing Team Jaidi in Hartford. 
full of the business, as they say. He's the shorter man tonight. Pretty much everyone is when they fight Liam Patel at 59 kilos. Uh, but as you heard in that video, Jacob Thompson says he's used to being the shorter man and in many ways actually prefers being the smaller man in the contest. Let's see how that works out for him here. He's been in tremendous, some tremendous battles already so far in his fledgling career. Um, stable mates with Alfie Pierce, who's uh, currently out in Thailand at the moment. I wonder if he'll be watching somewhere. Jacob, baby shark, Thompson! <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, I'm expecting this one to be a real barn burner. Liam Patel has come under criticism before uh, for not being in exciting fights. Proof some silence some of the doubters last time out by stopping really? Finn Cook. I think, I think some of those criticisms got to him, and he made a real statement last time oh, of out. Of course, he went forward a lot more in that fight. And this is a very small ring tonight, so he has no choice. Whoa, this is it, isn't it? Yeah, we were looking at that earlier on. This is a small ring. What are we saying? 16? Yeah. Uh, probably a 16 foot ring. It looks a small ring. JD is a good gym. Very good, Jim. Yeah, stable mates with Alfie Pierce, as I talked about, and uh, Jamie Rayner, and uh, well, a host of others. It's uh, thriving at the moment. This is a real pick'em, a real 50-50 pick'em. Speak to people around the industry. Uh, people coming up with different answers who they thought were going to win. Talked about a lot on social media this one as well. Yeah, and rightly so. Again, when I saw the bill, I thought this one could easily be fight of the night. I think Jacob Thompson's going to bring the very best out in uh, Liam Patel. Well, both of these young men, we, I think they're going to bring the best out in each other, to be honest, Charlie. Yeah, absolutely. Liam knows how to use his range very well. Got caught a little bit too close for that one. Nice, that was Some, good. Yeah, that's good. Beautiful counter that. You can see uh, Patel looking dangerous with those elbows. Yeah, Liam's not sure how to throw a few elbows. No. I just hope Jacob keeps his guard nice and high for them. There's no point trying to take him just for the sake of him, right? Yeah, actually, actually, the height difference isn't quite as extreme as I was expecting. Uh, it's a good left hook. Counter check left hook from. Uh, the baby Shark Thompson hands in place to block that head kick. Liam keeping busy with those left yeah. kicks. And he'd be, piling, one. he'd be piling on the points with that as well, won't he? Those uh, those kicks that he pops out. Oh, Ooh, that head kick. Nice. Scuffed the head of Jacob Thompson. It landed. Just, yeah, caught him just, but it was the elbow as well. As Jacob stepped in, Liam loves that spear up elbow. And again, as he just stepped in. Liam looking relaxed in the, in the clinch. Not worried right now, good control, nice. Well, they, they're working each other out. You can see some of the traps that both of them are setting and then both of them working each other out in different ways. These are quality, quality young fighters. It's a nice chess game. Yeah. Again, this one for the MTGP Intercontinental title. Here we go, last 40 seconds. Both countering very well. Yeah. Trying and to get the last. as well, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Beautiful balance there. Well done, Jake. That was beautiful. I have to say, Patel is looking super dangerous with those elbows. He's come out with a real spite, is not he? Quite There's vicious, malice isn't in those. He knows how and when and where to throw them, doesn't he? Yeah. Let's say, I think the uh, some of the criticisms that he had earlier in his career, that he was 
maybe not aggressive, maybe looking to survive in bouts. I think he took that personally, Liam Patel. I think he, he wants to make a statement. And that was great. Great first round from both boys. Definitely a good first round there. And Ian Mike in the corner. Liam trying to catch him with those elbows early on. Yeah, if you had to pick, uh, I know I put it on you, Charlie, but if you had to pick, uh, we have to score this round, who have you gone for? Muay Thai is the winner. Muay Thai is the winner. Now we have, listen, we've got five rounds, that was a very even round. Both of you both just feeling each other out. I don't think either one of them took that decisively. Jacob's aggressive. It was very, it was tit for tat, wasn't he it? He has to be very careful on the way in with those elbows. Yeah. Don't get blasé with them. Liam <laughs> pulls up these head kicks out of nowhere. Yeah. He's like Mr. Well, he's, he is freakishly tall at this weight, isn't he? 59 Shrek kilos, from, uh, he's over six fighter. foot. Yeah, I think that's Douse him. Oh, Douse him. From uh, Street Fighter. And Mr. Shred from Fantastic Four. <laughs> there you go, yeah. Nice body shot there from Jacob on the way in. I think Liam's cutting him. He just pointing to him as he stepped in. Has he caught him? I can't see at the moment from this angle. He looks still freshly, fresh faced. The baby shark. Baby shark. Yeah. Again, both of these lads have learned their trade properly. At, um, Jacob, we've seen him again all over the country, all over the sh different shows, and all over Europe, really. I oh, can guarantee that both of these boys have put the work in in that gym for this into him. They have, yeah. Yeah, they've both impressed me at different stages in their career and, and uh, the way they've carried themselves, the way they've performed and been improving with every fight. Oh, that was quite an odd tactic. Jacob going for the outside leg there. Good catch counter. Liam, well, but... Liam got back to his uh, defensive on the back foot right now. That's where he's comfortable. He, he is very comfortable on the back foot, isn't he? He's got that beautiful, beautiful ring craft and that movement. It's a great left kick as he stepped in there. When he does, when Liam Patel does decide to step in and start opening up, he looks dangerous as hell. Doesn't oh, he, he but, does. Uh, He's got that beautiful ability to get on that back foot, get on his bike and uh, pop out shots, and win fights on that back foot quite clearly as well. Oh, he's won a lot of fights. Scores well with that kick to the body, doesn't he? It's great to see Jacob being uh, aggressive with it, going forward, not afraid to stand there. He's stayed in the pocket the whole time, hasn't he? Does he really yeah. take a backward step, Jacob Thompson? He, he does do a good job of making his size work for him as well. He's quite compact. <laughs> He's quite compact, neatly tucked together. He's hard to hit clean. He makes it very difficult. Yeah. Shredded to the bone as well. Yeah, yeah great shot. Nice hook on the way in there. Liam has to be careful. With uh, Thompson's corner telling him that they've already... He's already hurt Liam and to keep the pressure on him. And there goes the end of that round. Thompson puts his hand in the air. He's really happy with how this fight's going. Two rounds down and the uh, Thompson corner feel like they're doing enough. And that, that intercontinental strap will be staying with Thompson if it continues along similar lines as it has been going. The whole Chew family in there almost, haven't you? Yeah, absolutely. Chew, Steve That's Chew, a lot of Matt experience Chew. right there. There is a lot of experience right there. <laughs> so I've got a feeling Matty right there was just telling him, look, stand your ground, stay strong for the clinch, drive those elbows in. Yeah. That's where Liam has a lot of success. Jacob, 
keep strong, try not to get wrapped up in the clinch. If he does, he's got to nullify it by gra uh, grabbing hold of the neck. Straight in with a jab kick from Jacob. Connected well, Liam threw a return, but Jacob quick enough on the, on the block. Beautiful counters. Nice catch. Yeah, brilliant catch. Read that well. Yeah. He is a really hard fighter to read, Liam Patel. He's a box of tricks. <laughs> he really is. But the Jacob Thompson is doing such a good job at the moment of reading the movement. Jacob's the angles really of well. Patel, isn't he? Yeah. I thought he'd struggle a little bit more than, than, than he has been. Jacob hasn't been pushed back a lot. No. You know, he's always stood his ground. He's always come forward a bit more. He's got a slight cut underneath the cheek. So. Yeah. Was that, was that his? A minor blemish, we'll say, under the... Uh... Beautiful catch kick there. Catch throw. Stepped off with the hook there. Yeah, the nose, the nose is bleeding just from Jacob there. Okay, Patel man. trying these jumping knees. Again, if one of those lands, it's good night. And you get the feeling that the first time one of those elbows lands, it's going to open something up as well. So that left hook Ooh. from Thompson is a dangerous weapon as well. We've seen him catch Patel with that a couple of times. He reads it well when Patel steps in with that knee. Yeah. Oh, again, not a good read. It's a sickening knee to the body, though, from Patel. I think Thompson felt that, you know? Yeah, Liam's got some fantastic knees. Yeah. That was beautiful. I love that the way he good. catches that. Throws it, kicks the back. Big score. Oh, right hand, take a flush. Patel showing the good chin, though. Takes it well. Thompson, though, he's still, like you say, Charlie, he's holding his ground, isn't he? He hasn't taken a backward step yet. Good combination, finish with a good kick there. Jacob's doing really well, stepping away from these knees. Yeah, he just angles off to the sides, doesn't he? They're having to disguise, these are smart fighters, they're having to disguise and feint through every move. Oh, they both know each other well enough yeah. now. Last 15 seconds of round three. Thompson again keeps finding a home for that left hook. And there you go, taking the outside leg again, Charlie. And working on that. Well, yeah, they're feeling really confident at the end of... Uh, that third, again, Thompson goes back to the corner, hands aloft. How are you seeing it so far, Charlie? It's very close. It's very, very close. That third round for me, <laughs> I don't even know how to score it myself. I put Charlie Peters on the spot there. That's what we do at MTGP. We ask the punishing questions. That's what Pete does. <laughs> I don't want to get it wrong. I don't want to upset people. So, it is hard to see. Get off the fence, Charlie. Give an answer. Don't shy away from controversy. <laughs> With my last job. Well, there you go. We've not been able to uh, get Charlie to commit to an unofficial scorecard. For me, I feel like Jacob thinks it just that little bit in that round. But Liam's done such a good job. That's the one's fight, isn't it? That's what he needs to do. He needs to go forward now. This is the money round, four, fourth round. He needs to show the strength. Well, both of them are going to try and have a big round now. Round number four, the money round, as Charlie Peters just said. High scoring system, the fourth round is key. Beautiful left kick as he steps in. Glad to see Liam do a few more of those, especially while he's on the ropes. It's just a thunderous knee, that is. Nice, good catch, good sweep. So well matched. A minute gone. Almost a minute gone in this fourth session. Oh, 
knee, just, it grazed the chin. It didn't really land flush, but... This is beautiful work from Liam. Oh, he's all work now, Liam. He's nice. trying to put the shots together. Good balance. Yeah, and retakes the center of the ring, Jacob Thompson. They're reading each other so well. He's not stepping in, is he, Thompson? He keeps him there on the ropes, but he doesn't step in and take silly chances. He knows, he knows. He's, he knows he's worrying about the elbows, he's, he's thinking about that knee. They've, got, they've, they've devised a game plan for this one, haven't they? Yeah, absolutely, you can see it. He's sticking to it. Thompson not getting involved in the clinch. I thought he would as well. Yeah, I mean, this is a, this is a fantastic round from Liam. Lovely body kick as well. <laughs> Stuff oh, from nice. Thompson. Liam nullifying the clinch there, taking his feet up, resting on the ropes. He mounted him, didn't he? <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Big jump right kick there. Last minute on the clock. Throw that left kick as he steps in, Liam. That's what he needs to be doing. Jacob needs to put a few punches in before he steps forward. He's so spearing elbow. He comes in, but he needs to disguise it with some punches. Yeah, he needs to set some more traps, doesn't he? This is exactly Love. the round Liam needs. Yeah, and that's just what he what he wanted there. He's just pecking away at the moment. Scored with some decent techniques. This is frustrating for Jacob Thompson right now. Yeah, he's trying to do his stuff, but it's just not working. There you go. Oh, yeah, you can tell that was the round Liam needed. Well, this bout is... Uh, it's a close one. It'll be interesting to see how the judges got it. Fifth and final round coming up. For me, I feel like Liam took that. Sorry? I feel like Liam just beat that one. Took that round for me. Definitely, that was a strong, dominant round. Let's see Jacob move in now with his hands. Stand there, cut Liam off. Oh, Stop him from moving. He's in the middle of the ring now. He's the first one there. Fifth and... Oh, your fifth and final round underway. Again, the 59 kilo MTGP intercontinental strap of Jacob Thompson's up for grabs for the winner of this one. It's been close, it's been absorbing. Whoa. Uh, both of these men very well matched, contrasting styles, but uh, they've synced up well. It hasn't been the all action barn burner that it could have been, but uh, it's been a good fight so far. Technical, clever stuff coming from both men. High level quality tie boxing action. Yeah, Liam just playing that game. Punch, tip, move off. Those Big body score. kicks, he keeps yeah. finding a home for those, doesn't he? Ooh. Oh, tip in the face as well, and another body kick. And again, we know, it's again and again, he's managing to land that. And we know that's a high scoring technique in Muay Thai. Yeah, beautiful technique from Liam. As the round's the going on, Liam's getting stronger and stronger for me, Charlie. Yeah, he's playing the Muay Thai game well. Good balance, strong. Halfway through it now, last 90 seconds. I'll tell you what, Jacob Thompson still in it with the kicks. He's still attacking, he's still going forward, and then back down. I think Here we go, last minute. These two are so well matched, Charlie. I think you can see this, uh, 
this bout, this fight, ten times and get ten different results. Session. It's been a, probably Jacob Thompson's worst round of the bout so far. Yeah. Does he feel he's done enough, Charlie? I mean, Patel working hard in this round. 20 seconds left, both boys raising their hands, feeling like they've won it. Again, the head kick just clipping Thompson, doesn't trouble him, doesn't stop him walking forward. And Patel sometimes happy to score. Nice, good kick on the way out there. A bright smile from Thompson. Smile from both men. Show your appreciation for both of these men after an amazing five rounds of Intercontinental MTGP title action. And at the end of those five completed rounds, we go to your judges' scorecards where we have a split decision in favor of your winner. And the new minus 59 kilogram MTGP Intercontinental Champion from Central London, Liam! Incredible performance. You knew that it was going to be a tough fight. It was looking pretty even to me at the first couple of rounds, but what do you think was the turning point of that fight for you? I think, I think, uh, like you said, it was quite even, but I think the step knees is what, uh, is what done it for me. Like, basically, like, tipped it in my, tipped it in my favor, I reckon. Like, Jacob was body kicking a lot. I was uh, trying to body kick back as much as I could to, like, keep the score up. And then my corner team, after I think, like, the second or third round were like step knee like just keep trying to step knee and basically and you use your hands to set up your knee and that's when you had to adjust your game plan and i know you're from team chu uh, have you got anything to say to your amazing team and coach oh, like 16 like this has been like this fight camp has been about 16 weeks of training like i always i train year out and uh i don't really like take time off or go on holidays or anything but like Steve, my, my, my coach, one of my coaches, Steve, like, we train basically every morning 10 to 15 rounds on the pads, and that's just like one session and come back in the afternoon. And obviously, of course, like, Matty and Phil, I always get my tips from them. I'm just like, yeah, yeah I'm proper happy. Like, proper and I know you've got a lot of fans in the audience. Anything you want to say to them? And the news! <laughs> no, a big, big thank you to everyone who, who comes to the shows. Like, of course, like, these shows wouldn't happen without you, and... Uh, I still got levels to go before I get where I want to be, but like with everyone's support, I'm sure I'll make it. Thank you guys. And any any opponents that you've got in mind next? To be fair, whoever they put in front of me, like I want I want to fight for the number one spot at some point. Uh, I reckon like a few more fights. Uh, there's, a, there's there's always loads to work, and I just want to keep on improving. I leave my coaches to sort out my matchups, and 
I just try and turn up on the day, basically. Amazing. Congratulations again. Give it up. For